when to file ISF for greeting cards. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're going to explore an important topic regarding Customs Brokerage and Importer Security Filing ISF. Specifically, we'll be discussing when to file an ISF for greeting cards. So, let's dive right in. When it comes to importing goods, including greeting cards, it's crucial to comply with the regulations set by U.S. Customs and Border Protection CBP. The timing of when to file an ISF for greeting cards depends on various factors, such as the type of shipment, the mode of transportation, and the time in which the goods are arriving. If you're importing greeting cards via ocean freight, the general rule is to file the ISF at least 24 hours before the vessel departs from its last foreign port. This timeframe allows the CBP to perform risk assessments and enhance the security of the supply chain. On the other hand, if you're importing greeting cards by air, the ISF should be filed before the aircraft departs from its last foreign airport. Just like with ocean shipments, this rule ensures proper risk assessment and smooth customs clearance. But what about importing greeting cards by truck from Canada or Mexico? In this case, the ISF is not required since it's applicable only for ocean and air shipments. However, it's important to note that other customs requirements still apply, and it's advisable to have all the necessary documentation in order. To ensure compliance with ISF requirements and the smooth importation of greeting cards, it's highly recommended to work with a professional customs brokerage firm. These experts have a deep understanding of the regulations and can handle all the necessary paperwork on your behalf. Additionally, when importing goods like greeting cards, it's essential to have a customs bond in place. A customs bond is a financial guarantee that ensures you, as the importer, will adhere to all customs regulations and pay any duties or penalties that may arise. It acts as a safety net and gives the CBP assurance that the necessary fees will be covered. Obtaining a customs bond is a straightforward process, and there are different options available, including single entry bonds and continuous bonds. Single entry bonds are for one-time imports, while continuous bonds are ideal for frequent importers. Working with a reputable customs brokerage firm can help you determine the best type of bond for your specific needs. When importing greeting cards, it's important to file an importer security filing ISF, within the specified timeframes based on the mode of transportation. For ocean shipments, file at least 24 hours before the vessel's departure, and for air shipments, file before the aircraft departs. Remember that customs bonds are also essential to ensure compliance and smooth customs processes. We hope you found this information helpful. If you have any further questions or need assistance with customs brokerage, feel free to reach out to us. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for more informative videos to come. Thank you for watching. Disclaimer note below. See you soon.